Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a tutorial on this polymer clay charm like jelly bean packet. So to start off with, I actually took some rose quartz polymer clay by the brand Fimo and this was from the effects range. And I rolled this into a ball and then just cut it into three parts using scissors. You can of course use a little craft knife, but I just couldn't find mine this morning, which is just typical. So yeah, I just used my scissors and it worked out perfectly fine. I rolled each one of those pieces into a little ball and then into a snake and then just using my fingers I just bent them round a little bit to make the standard kind of jelly bean type shape. I also did the exact same with some blue kind of quartz colour and I did three in total of that colour also. By the way, if my voice sounds different or if my video style looks a little bit different, I'm using a different editor today and I actually have no idea what I'm doing. So anyway, once I had the jelly bean shapes all ready and done, I just took my dotting tool and I popped two little indents in each one to make little holes for where I wanted to put the eyes. To make the eyes, I just rolled up little tiny balls of black polymer clay and I just popped these into the little indents that I made with the dotting tool. So once all the kind of eyes and stuff were all then done, as you can see, all of mine are completely done, I popped it into the oven for um, about 25 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius. You'll find the instructions on the packet of your polymer clay. So once all of my jelly beans were out of the oven and they were completely cool, I then went ahead with a black Posca pen, which is just a paint pen, and I just painted on their little kind of mouths in between the eyes. Now you can of course just use acrylic paint with a paintbrush or using a dot and tool or something like that, but because I already have these paint pens, I thought it would be a great idea to use them for the little details on the jelly beans themselves. I also went in with a pink Posca paint pen just to pop on some blush either side of the eyes. I usually do this with a dot and tool and some paint, but like I said, I thought it was a great idea to use these paint pens for the detail. I also used the same pink to pop the little kind of tongues on my open mouth ones, and I also added some white dots to the eyes to act as highlight. Next, in order to make the packet, for the jelly beans, I just took one of these little grip seal bags. Um, I know some people call them Ziplocs, but I think like in this country, we only say Ziplocs when they've got the actual like little zipper bit on, but I don't know, these little grip seal bags anyway. And I just have kind of folded over the top end and taped it down with clear tape. And then taking some washi tape, I just popped a strand across the front and a strand across the back to kind of conceal all those kind of rough bits. I actually used this little twin star um, washi tape that I got from Blippo and I'm really really happy with it, I really like it and yeah I think it matches the jelly beans perfectly. Now I did actually get this idea from um, Lemon Tea Charms recent packet videos, I've been totally inspired by Alex's polymer clay charms honestly they're the best ever like i wish i was that good anyway so i actually went ahead and used a white posca pen again to write the word jelly bean all the way across the bottom and like i said you don't have to use these pens if you don't have them or you don't want to purchase them you can of course just use acrylic paint and a small paintbrush so yeah that's exactly what i did and i left that to dry and once that was dry my little polymer clay packet was then complete. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. You could obviously add a keychain into the top if you wanted to make it into a keychain. I'm just gonna pop mine up on my desk just kind of as a little decoration. And I just think it's so, so cute. I just love them in their little packet. So hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.